Hey everyone, thanks as always for tuning in to Public Free Guilds Unleashed. We have a dreadful show for you today. I have no idea how this video isn't viral on TikTok yet, but a young man driving his truck encounters a raging couple who admonish him, especially the guy, for, in their words, almost running them over. But from what our main character says, he was just going the speed limit. Why did you throw poop on my car? You almost hit us. I'm... What do you mean I almost hit you? I went on the other side of the oh, lane. You're the wrong guy, bro. You almost hit my wife and my dogs. Keep driving. Sir, you were on the- Keep driving. Sir, you threw Keep poop driving. on my car. <laughs> Sir, I'm on mine. You can't do like- You almost hit my wife and my dogs. Keep driving. Sir, I did not almost hit you guys. What are you talking about? <laughs> bro, this Sir, are you okay? I'm telling you, I was driving this way. You're me. You can stop, okay? You're telling Turn me. Turn your f***ing phone off and learn how to f Girl, get bro. the f*** out of my face stop. and get out of here. I'm 17, bro. What I don't you give doing? a f You almost hit my family. Get the f*** out of here. Sure. Slow down. I went, I'm going 25 miles an hour. No, the speed limit is 25. Kid. If the Get speed limit is 5, I can go 25. You almost hit my wife and dogs. Get out of here. Oh my god, and I almost hit you guys. And you get throw shit on my car. Like, what the hell is this? I'm calling the cops. I'm calling the cops. This Hardee's employee literally lunges at our main character here, which is nuts. And this is one of those rare instances where I'm pretty sure most of us can agree that the employee has no business in a customer facing role at whatever his next job is going to be when he gets fired from this one. All I did was ask for a refund because you guys gave yeah, me the wrong just order. Give her, just give a refund. She has full rights. We can't! I mean, we, we can't! Okay, but not Okay, well you could at least offer to remake the order or something. I, I, we can't! We don't have permission to do any of that. So, but what nobody... are you going to the kitchen? Okay, do it! Hey, yeah, come on. Hey, they come can on. do that later. You can do it later. Right, That's fine. You but this back. is inconveniencing me right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to kill it. Get out of my way. Oh, wow. Yeah. Let me go ahead and call the police on you guys. Let, you, let me call the police on you guys. And I have my lawyer also. Come on, you want to... <laughs> This is the type of people you guys have working stuff, and you want to give them my refund back, and my a nine dollar refund. Nobody can, nobody has the power to give me. When I mean, you have your employees attacking me, <laughs> you have one of your employees attacking me. So this is what we dealing with. Our next main character is a co-owner of a boat and jet ski rental business, and she records a confrontation with a customer who just crashed and totaled her company's jet ski, appearing to be completely inebriated. He, of course, blames everyone but himself. Can you throw it over to him? Huh? But y'all shit does not work. Dude, you flipped it. It's upside down right now. Like, what are you talking you. about? Like, yeah, right now, but like even tarot, earlier. Um, Can I have the tarot? It, no, I, I would like to Dude, talk to you. Dude, it's literally upside down right now in the water. That. I can see Can that. you give me the tow rope before he loses the I jet ski? I can see that. He's not Dude, you're clearly wasted. Do you see the security guard waiting for you guys up there? No, that's a DUI, but care, right? But Dude, you f***ed up. You f***ed up bad. Look at that. It's upside down. I literally have you on uh, video crashing. This shit is bullshit. Like this, f***ing, the the speakers blew out. First of all, you were all three right? hours late to your rental. Okay, the jet ski is currently upside down. So Dude, bullshit. it's currently that's upside bullshit. down in the water. Yeah, because your jet ski is Holy bullshit. Holy shit, dude! Your jet ski is bullshit. It's all it's upside down. Your jet ski is bullshit. In the water. A jet ski can flip over. No, it can't, dude. You're Goofy, bro. Okay, so this mega Karen causes a huge scene and thinks she can bully this fast food worker, but the fast food worker has other thoughts. By the way, this was all over an egg roll. Yes. Oh, please.
my food. Let, let me get my food, please. Damn, I'm gonna well, be late for work. Let, let me get my food. Bro. Bitch, you lucky I don't spit in your face, ho. You lucky I gotta go to work. Next up, we have something very special, something very interesting that never really happens. A confrontation at Dollar General between an employee and a customer, okay, with some accusations of transphobia thrown in, alright, but in this unique case, after this employee uploaded his version of events to TikTok, the customer, which you see here, also uploaded their version of events that they also recorded themselves, uh, sparking a viral back and forth between supporters of either side. First, this is the version that the employee recorded, which is still up on his TikTok. Hello here, here is giving me a hard time here at Dollar General. All right, sir. Doesn't want to leave because their card is declined because my of card did not decline. It did not say insufficient funds. What did it say, ma'am? Did my card say insufficient funds, or did it say that your system's not working? No, I'm serious, because this isn't uh, cool. Is it okay if I check out? Here? Anyway, this is not. It did not say insufficient funds, sir. What did it say? It said no checking account. What does that mean? It did not say insufficient funds. We're going back to your transphobia. What did you say to me, sir? You've given me a hard time here before at this place. What did you say to me? Keep filming, because it's going to be on here. You cussed at me. You said you. You're going to lose your job, sir. Have a good one. Okay, now this is the footage taken by the customer you just saw. It's longer and contains more of the argument. And interestingly, while the employee's version is still up, this version, along with the entire TikTok account, seemed to have been deleted. Oh, this is Quentin at the Dollar General in Pflugerville. What did you say, Quentin? You called me a she, her? I don't know what. <laughs> and you said to get the out because your it, systems. I don't know what you said, man. Go on, go on somewhere. Oh no, what'd you call me? Please, Quentin. Please feel free to tell me what you called me. We can play this game all day. Oh, what game? Where you're being transphobic and offensive because your system's not working and I asked if we could use another register and you said this get the fuck out of here? This fellow here is giving me a hard time here at Dollar General. All right, sir. Doesn't want to leave because their card is declined because My card did not decline. It did not say insufficient funds. What did it say, ma'am? Did my card say insufficient funds or did it say that your system's not working? No, I'm serious, because this isn't uh, cool. Is it okay if I check out here? Anyway, this yeah. is not, it did not say insufficient funds, sir. What did it say? It said no checking account. What does that mean? It did not say insufficient funds. We're going back to your transphobia. What did you say to me, sir? You given me a hard time here before at this place. What did you say to me? Keep filming, because it's going to be on here. You cussed at me. You said, F you. You're going to lose your job, sir. Have a good one. I guarantee you. This is something that anyone who's owned a dog can probably relate to. I know I can. These folks are in a nasty dispute with their next door neighbors over some alleged nuisance barking. Only in this old couple's head, at least, their dogs don't seem to be the problem at all. They don't bark. And it's really our main character's dogs who are the entire problem. Let's see if we can figure out who's not being honest from the context clues during their very hostile encounter when our main character goes up to their front door to confront them. Hi. Hi. I'm your neighbor in the back. Excuse me, dear. Um, Penny. Oh, these are your dogs too that are always barking? My dogs don't bark. Yeah, they do. They, yeah. As, they, as you saw, they do. So your husband had a problem? DR? Your husband had a problem because my dogs were barking earlier? What was the problem? DR, would you get out here? Dogs your dogs bark. Like yours, dear. It looks like they bark. Oh, really? Yeah. So my dogs can bark, but yours can't. Mine are doing it in the house. Yours your dogs bark in the backyard all the time. 
So what was the problem? Are you the guy from back I live back there, yeah. Absolutely you have a problem with me. Yeah, why? Why? Because your dogs bark and bark and bark and bark. So do yours. Oh, no, they don't. Yes, they do. No, I, God damn it, they yes, don't. Yes, they do. Bullshit. Yes, they do. Listen, they go out there and if they bark, it's like bark, bark, and then that's it. No, they don't. Our what, dogs really? Do not, no. Your dogs bark for 20 Bullshit. minutes? Bullshit. Yes, they You man. want me to get the other neighbors here? We can all Are tell you. you. Really? We can tell you all because wow. your damn dog. No, that you are lying, buddy. Bullshit. Sorry. Your dogs bark all the time. I sat out there this the morning time. and that goddamn little dog you got was right there their next dogs. to the next yard. Their dogs. Agitated. Does that bother you that much? Yeah, it does. You have dogs and bark hey. that bothers you that much? It does. Wow. Because this is supposed to be a peaceful neighborhood. It is a peaceful yeah, neighborhood. But it's not with your dogs. Yeah. Really? Come in. He's recording us. Get yeah. In. Oh, I think you should. Yeah. yeah I've been yeah. recording yeah. you the whole time. You're gonna. Good. This is going to end up online. Yes. Good. Yes. Because the next yeah. thing that's going to happen. Uh-huh. Just tell us. The Tell next, us. Okay, the next thing that's going to uh -huh. happen is I'm going to go to the police. Go do and whatever turn you, you need. Right in do whatever you need to, buddy. You're not even supposed to have that many dogs. Uh, what, you don't train them. Uh -huh. You don't take care of them. We, what do you, you don't really? Yes. What are right. you talking about? You I let them roam dogs. around in a dog in a yard dogs. that's full of crap. Who cares what my yard looks Who like? That bothers cares? you that much? That's Who humanity, cares? man. Who cares what my backyard looks like? It's toys back there. You get, Those oh, are my son's no toys. toys. It's all go. crap. It's toys. It's, all it's my crap. son's toys. Oh, bullshit. It's my go back there and take a picture. I have. Go. I have, man. Be it's my all guest. terrible. Okay. Yeah. All right. So have a nice happy day. Now? Have you I got have. enough on film? I got it. I got enough on film. Okay, good. Thank you, buddy. And let me just have a nice day, buddy. Have a nice day. You are crazy, bro. Another parent here who takes their child's sports games too seriously, and this umpire seems to have caught all the action. Uh, very lucky. Uh, the woman at the end, by the way, was just waiting to get tagged in, you can tell. Now, if I was a slapper, I'd be wrong, right? You slap me, <laughs> right <laughs> Oh! And you got a problem with it? Look, ma'am, let me tell you something. You mess around with the wrong one here. Hey, 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 like don't get in that cool uh, Sit no, down. No, this police officer in, I think that says Chicago on the side of his car there, gives an 18 year old a reality check that probably a whole lot of people featured in these videos need to hear. That's not the point. No, that is the point. There's no lesson, just drive. This is like, how old are you? I'm 18. No wonder why. explains a lot. Can you just take the van and drive out? You're proving a lesson to nobody. To nobody. And you've already proved the lesson, I'm here. So it's over with, let's just drive. I, you know how many things are going on in the city? There's no police. I don't have time for this nonsense. I know you're only 18, so you don't understand the real world, but just drive the car forward. You're proving nothing. You're just annoying people. This is all on camera. Just have a nice day. We finally come to the great bathroom debacle. I found this one nostalgic and fun in a way. So these kids are under attack from a adult woman who thinks she just caught them red-handed smearing mud all over the walls in this campground's community bathrooms. Only they swear they didn't do it. They really didn't do it. Oh, oh shit, I watched y'all come out of the bathroom. Yeah, because I wanted to see what was in there. Y'all were in there. Y'all get in there and clean. I want to see what was in there. We didn't do it. That was not us. We saw what we were going to see what is in there, ma'am. I swear. I swear to God we just got the password. Ma'am, I was on there. I was down there. Oh, wait. No, they, no. Got, they could vouch for us. Did we, did we not just get here? They yeah. just said yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yes. Oh, no. Let's go anywhere. Did, did, did y'all see us just come? No, no, I promise. Yeah. Ma'am. Mud on it. How do we do it? We don't have mud on it. Um, ma'am, I know exactly who it was. I watched them. Yeah, it wasn't Hi. us. Was it no. us? Can I tell no, you? No, it was not. No, I watched them all come out of the bathroom. No, ma'am, wait, wait. Hey, 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 this shit happens. Oh. It's because people stand up and people defend them oh, instead of making them because right. Because I watched you do it. Hey, hey. hey. No, no, I hey, see hey. you. Let the adults talk. Let the adults talk, boys. Let the adults talk. Oh, did he? He was the one getting mud thrown at him. Oh, God.
Get the foot in the mud. Walk the wall. It was him. That was him. You can leave it open. Logan, you get in there with them. Wait, so do we do we do it? No. Exactly. No. I, I know. I know. Guys, you do it. Thank you. Yeah, it was not us. It wouldn't really be an episode of Public Freakouts Unleashed without at least one new addition to the no fly list. And I'd also like to introduce something very special this episode, the scariest airline tally, which is of course a competition between Spirit and Frontier. And we'll start it off with one on the board for Frontier. <laughs> So the Karen caught in this next video, in this next whole story, did something pretty outrageous. And she actually brags at length about being a government worker. So I'm sure they've seen the clip by now, although you can't really fire government workers, so I'm sure she's still employed. This woman comes up to a girl in a short skirt and yanks it down, uh, trying to make her point, oh, it's too short and then lectures her like a child and insinuates that she's underage, which is a weird thing to do when you put your hands on someone you don't know, right? Now you've assaulted a minor, kinda, but she clearly feels entitled to boss people around and is probably a nightmare to work with. Why are you I happen to work for the state, and if I have to watch your ass cheeks hanging out again, I will call for the guests. Oh. Yeah, go for she's, it right now. She's over 18. She is 19 years old. But you don't get to touch her. 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 Then don't look. Come up and talk to her. You do not get to touch her. Really? We would yeah. love for you to call the police. Go ahead. Go ahead and call the police. Why are you? So why are you? It's not appropriate. Y'all got a rude ass bitch up here. What, what, what was rude? So what what was rude? Like, listen, yo, man, yo, keep yo, talking. Yo, I'll take your whole yo, home. I'm calling, I'm calling the cops. Give me my food, dick. I'm yeah. suing you for everything you have. I'm you. Sue me, bitch. Keep suing. Stop. Get, hey, y'all need to stop. Yeah. Give me my food. Get out. You won't give me your food. Give me my food. Don't do that shit. Give me Don't my food, food dick. We're going to give you your food. Just stay out. Stay out. I ain't standing over there. You gotta keep that bitch back there. Stop doing that, okay? Keep that bitch stop. back you there. You want that food? Stop doing that shit. Cause it ain't no I got you. Shit. Just stay over there. Please. I am. Stay over keep there. Me, keep my face, baby. Okay. Stay over there. Yeah, just come, tell her to come yeah. over there. I got you. I got you. Stay over there. My chicken strap over there. Okay. 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 Yes, wait. They gonna get it, Mom. I'm stop, stop. It's okay. It's okay. Please hold. Cause you don't feel here. Come in. Come in, sir. Come in. Come in. So this vivant door-to-door -door salesman appears to be glitching out like an Oblivion NPC. There's clearly a tornado going on, but he doesn't seem to mind or even notice. Hi, ma'am. It's a whole tornado outside. I know, I was right. Yeah, yeah, go on somewhere. We in cover. Well, why are you still standing there, honey? Yeah, I'm, I'm just... Yeah, go ahead. Are you okay? Yeah, you okay? It's a tornado outside. I'm just in the neighborhood. Yeah, go home. What's goddamn scooter? 
Now this shit don't make no sense. You can't make this shit up. These poor Uber drivers, man. So this guy deals with our first of two fool lawyers in today's episode. He brings too many people to this Uber black, right? He brings five to a four person seating arrangement and then accuses the driver of racism when he's denied the ride. Uh, also pay attention to how he talks to his little kid. It says a lot about him. Kids, you are five people. You got Uber black and you said I'm making up the you need to you have... Okay, so explain what you're doing. Please explain what you're doing. I, I'm being Please harassed. Please explain. You know I'm what happened to CEO. You're racially no, no, profiling no. us. <clears throat> you're saying I racial profile you? You are five people. You Sorry. book a black car. Girls, go inside. Go inside. And you tell the racial profile. You're threatening me. You're threatening for me. For no, don't stay. You're threatening stay, me. You're threatening stay, me. Stay I for, feel threatened. For what? You are threatening my children. Say your children. You are threatening my you children. You said that you're a lawyer. lawyer. You're th hey, I am. Stay you far are from me. You got out of the car. You are the stay aggressor. For, That's I, how the I'm law works. I'm closing the door. You're the aggressor. I'm closing my door. You're the aggressor. See, see. You got out and chased me. I'll make sure that the... You do that. Big shot. Let's see how far Big that shot. gets you. Five people. Let's see how black. far it gets Let's you. Let's be honest. You're the aggressor. You're try for what? You're the aggressor. Man. Please, call it. Uh, I heard, so you, say, you, I heard you say under your breath they look Jewish. What? What? You're sick. You are sick. Hate. You're sick. This next woman does not play around about her pizza. I'm on her side, of course. Why would I be trying to get me, yo? Like, what? My bad, cuz, dang. Live from my childhood hometown of Sacramento, SoCal gets a whole lot of credit, right, for having the worst and scariest and craziest drivers ever. But NorCal really does hold its own there. I mean, I grew up learning how to drive in NorCal. I can attest to this. I know, actually, this exact exit that this happened on. It's funny to watch. Yeah, people are so crazy. Look at this. Look at this girl. That's a girl driving. That is a woman. Look at that. What in the world is going on? Oh my gosh. It, it's a funny game. The car crash. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is crazy! What is wrong with people? Just go to work like normal people! This is no Mario Kart! Oh my gosh, this is crazy! What is going on? Oh my gosh, I'm going around this. I'm going around this. This woman accuses Home Depot of prejudice against her for being black. Uh, she's accused of stealing from this Home Depot, despite offering to present her receipt. She wants to return this. Because she didn't piss me off, so I don't want it. She didn't piss me oh, all the way off. I don't, yes, I was. I don't want don't it. scream at me. That's fine. I want a refund. Do not scream at I me. I want a refund. Do you have a receipt? Yes, I do. Okay. Which door did you come in? Ma'am, I'm not answering shit. I got yes, a receipt. Do I don't answer. have to answer shit if I got a receipt. Get a manager. Get a manager and get 12 of them. And don't be surprised if I see your ass. Your I, don't have to, I don't have to say which door I came in if I have yeah, a receipt. Call the sheriff. Call, call the sheriff. Easy now. Ain't no easy shit. Call you whoever you want. Voice. You can call whoever you want. You have to give me a refund. I have a receipt. We don't, we don't have, have to give it. Yes, you do if I have a receipt. Yes, you do. What door did you come in? It don't matter. We'll review the tapes. We'll review the shit. We'll and I got your ass on camera. Y'all gonna be famous today. 
Stop screaming at me. I don't have to stop doing shit. You can't talk shit to me if I can't talk shit I to you. Ma'am, you said you do you have a receipt? A I have I, I said I have a receipt. I don't have to tell you shit else. There's a lady up here screaming and, and there's a white lady up here being racist because I have a receipt and she oh, won't return my oh, shit. She's oh playing the card. Oh Yeah, playing the card for you too. No, ma'am, that's not fair. You said, do I have a receipt? I said yes. And I said yes, sir. And I said yes, too, didn't I? You jumped so, her ass. And, but, but I jumped her ass, but I said yeah. All she needed but is I the said, receipt, yeah. the And I said it was on my phone, and she said, which door did you come in? I said, I don't have to tell you. She said, yes, you do. So since you've been on that white bag and two, let's be real. That's what she said. So don't start lying, sir. That's okay. what she said. That's what she said. I said, I have a receipt. They both said, what door did That's you come into? But uh, they don't want it. They, they don't want the receipt. The process Listen, you she don't want it because she said, what door did I come in from? They don't care about it. They care because I'm black. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand. Yeah. Yes, they do. You just All like you them. This old guy gets pretty tough with our main character after his plants that he planted on, to be clear, public property that was not his are disturbed by our main character's dog. He's walking him down this area and he, the dog started getting into the stuff that he planted that is, again, on public property. I think OP makes some good points here. Yeah, I got a camera too. Yeah, that's cool. Seriously. You need to back up. I don't know why you're walking so close up on me. No, it sounds like here. You're it sounds like what you want is a suburban lifestyle in the middle of the city. No, I want you. We pay a lot of money for that. That's cool. I Have try. I try to pull my dog out. He you do that. You've been out there for like five minutes. You know, it's the phone. grass. Yeah, yeah. You're scared because I pulled out my phone. Otherwise, you're gonna come up and act like an asshole. But it's grass out here. You may <laughs> own. Grass. You may own the unit that you live in, but you don't own anything beyond that. This is public property. If you don't want dogs to pee in it and eat it, don't plant in it. Or move to the suburbs. You don't own more than your property upstairs. Yeah, goodbye. Our main character in this next video, who is just an observer and not a participant, gives us a helpful note that this is all stemming from some baby mama drama. The whole thing is pretty long and available in full on Liam's TikTok page. This is outrageous. This Karen, our second fool lawyer of the episode, thinks she can control the volume of her neighbors on their own property and in the middle of the day. She definitely sounds like she's been um, enjoying the afternoon pretty heavily <laughs> before this happened. Not that I'm judging, day drinking can be fun, unless you harass your neighbors afterward, then it's not fun. Hey guys. I'm not opening, trying to open up your door, dude. Do do? I'm just at your door. Okay, how can I help you? You guys are screaming so loud, the whole neighborhood, 911. Uh, the cops are about to call in. I don't want to do don't that. I don't give a f we is at our house, lady. Don't you dare come to my house. Go on and get off. No, no, no. no, no I'm no, not no. to be that. No, no, no. What Hold you on, doing please. over here? No, no, no. Don't touch my door. Sweetie, look at I me. don't care. You. What is y'all doing over here? We is in our home that we own, and my family is having a good time. What the hell are you doing at my door? You get your drunk ass away from my door. Yes, you. 
Okay. I'm a criminal offense. I man. don't give a who you oh, ain't. You slamming like you. that, you ain't now not a criminal offense to say. Do your job. Go ahead. What is that calling the police for? But why are you calling the police anyway? Why are you talking about Yeah, you tell me this. Because you're walking by. It doesn't matter. We're not. Hey. Hold on. Hold on. No, hey. don't grab me for oh. shit. You hey. get your drunk ass on YouTube. Go. Oh, you're on my property. Go you're on my property. Get off my property. Our next main character claims to have experienced some banking while black. Uh, meaning that they were racist to her in the bank. I'm curious to see what you all make of this one by the end, though, after you watch this uh, very contentious back and forth. Was our main character overreacting, or was this the case of a bank teller uh, being racist caught on camera? Okay, I didn't get the opportunity to get the manager's information. I don't know who Dana is. Dana is not a professional name of contact to give somebody. She's being so disrespectful. Who was the lady that I just spoke with, ma'am? Um, assistant Manager Jody. Her name is Assistant Manager Jody. Do they have a point of contact? Do you, is no. this their business card? No, that's just a... Uh, Do they have a business card on their desk? No. So there's no way to contact. There's They have no, no business person. card. So no, this you is, have to contact... So this is... Okay, number. so let me write this down. Do you mind if I borrow your pen? No, you can take one if you Okay, not a problem at all. Okay, and do you mind if I get a piece of paper on a notepad? Sure. Okay, perfect. Because I always seem to have a problem coming into this branch. So the point of the manager is Dana. Mm -hmm. Okay, and but you guys are refusing to cash my check because you want me to physically bring my contractor who's trying to do my home. I don't know anything about your check and that's... Okay, and I'm asking to speak to a manager about the situation. So if you and don't know did, any... Well, did. I didn't speak to a manager. She came up and She's she tried to disrespect me. Manager. Okay, and I did not get to speak with her. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm asking to speak with her. <laughs> You're asking to speak with I'm her? asking to speak with the okay. assistant manager. That's the first time you've asked me, so I will Okay, let know. well, she came up very disrespectfully. She didn't ask to speak to me in private. All right, if you would have a seat and be quiet, I can go get I'm her. I'm sorry, did you say what? I could, if you can... You said if I can have a seat. A seat I told I you I'm her. deaf and I'm hard of hearing. I, you did so not tell me So you're asking me to not, what? Okay, but why are you tell telling me, me as a grown woman to sit down and be quiet? Because there's that other people... That speaks everything to your attitude and your okay, demeanor. Okay, all right. Don't sit down. Respect yourself. I do. Respect I, yourself. I absolutely do. Please do. Okay, so the manager's name is Dana. Mm -hmm, and she's not here today. Okay, and the right. assistant manager's name, who I asked to speak with, is who, please, ma'am? Her name is Jody. Okay. And I'm getting these point of, conference, um, point of references to be able to, on the phone, speak with Navy Federal, just so you know. Mm -hmm. How do you spell Jody, please? J O D Y. Okay. Okay. Could you put me in for an uh, opportunity to speak with Miss Jody? Yeah, I've, I've, let, I've let her know. Okay, no problem. I'm going to go outside with my family for about five minutes so that I can have your peace and quiet kept in here. And I'll come back inside just so you know if you call me and you don't see me. Do you want to take the card? Um, I think I have you guys' information. There's nobody's point of contact on here. Right, is well, it's just, just the general. Okay, number. no problem. Okay, you want a regular spring. Ma'am. You could have paid for that soda water, you need to leave. I made it. You heard me. I made it. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Uh, you ain't no family. Baby, let's go. You ain't no family. Have a good day. No, nah, you don't. Don't bathe at the shelter, baby. No, 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 no. This old timer who appears to be by himself at this bar decides to cause a scene when he doesn't feel like the bartender who is a girl uh, has been flirting with him sufficiently and has some words for the bouncer as well. Hey, let's talk about this right now. Customer service gets a minus for me. I try to talk to you, you say nothing to me. You act like I don't exist. If you disrespect me greatly, why do you do that? Do you think that you're right or what? Are you better than me or something? I'm not What's going on? No, I have multiple tables and 
a bar to take care of. That sounds made up. You are sitting here doing this. I say kind words to you. You say nothing back to me. Why? Because. You think I'm a drug dealer and an asshole and a crook cop, something or what? No. What is it, man? I am. You back off, you muscle man. Well, if you don't believe it's something wrong with you. I won't. It'll be my I don't give a f I talk to cops all day. Okay, I'm talking to them. Save your goddamn call. Little bitch, treat me right or else. I ain't getting this, you guys buy a new little f bitch like you. Little fold. Fucking acting up like that. F you, man. What's wrong with you? Who do you think you are? Be humble and gentle. These two were caught on camera by our main character here stealing, and while they'll probably never pay for this crime in the legal sense, I hope they feel ashamed and embarrassed to get called out like this, and I hope they've seen this video. That's hella embarrassing, dude! Look at this shit! No plates, right? But I got video of you, though. Hey, my mama got a job. Look at y'all. Look at you, take a video. Y'all are very embarrassing. Y'all are good. Wait, let me have it. I'm gonna go to jail anyway. I'm good. Y'all are stupid as Y'all really got no life. I'm good. Post y'all over Facebook. Y'all go get caught. This one's crazy. So as you can see by the text added by our main character, she went to her son's teacher's house to confront her for holding on to her son's phone after school had ended. Parents, what do you think? Would you be furious if your child's teacher did this, or would you side with the teacher that this was appropriate given the circumstances and what the child had done? So why is his phone in your house though? We haven't gotten to That's that part important. yet. What important is that your son is always on his phone, he's always talking. Ma'am, that is important. I paid a whole phone. bunch of money for that phone, so I don't care about okay, what disrespectful he is. We're not talking about that right now. We're talking about we're talking about why my son's phone is in because your house right now. He keeps talking. He dis he interrupts me, disrespects he, me. Uh huh. I can see why. I can see why. Cause you stealing phones. Can you go get my son's phone and give it to phones. me? Right, you stealing phones. Let me find out. You flipping phones? No, That's what you doing? No. Taking phones no, from little kids? Phone back when I take no, phone my son answer. gonna get his phone no, back right not. now. No, he's Bet not. money. Bet no, ma'am. No, I'm I'm listen, no, listen, Miss Green, Miss Green, I'm phone. trying, I'm trying to be nice to you, Miss Green. I'm trying to be nice to you, Miss Green. I'm about to Miss Green. Run me my son's phone. No, no, run me my son's phone. Y'all see this? Y'all see this? Look at it. Yes, I'm gonna record. Yes, I'm gonna record you because you trifling. She's taking this is Miss Green. She done took my son's phone. I done, I done had iPhone, found the phone here, and she won't run me my stuff. Run me my son's phone. Ma'am, 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 you talking about the wrong thing. Yo, I, I swear, yo, listen, I'm telling you, listen to me. If you don't run me my phone, run me, I'm going to get it back right now. No, at your house, ma'am, don't. Don't do that. Uh uh. Don't push on me. No, ain't no have a nice day. No. Run me my. Uh uh. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Like I said, I'm not leaving here. No, you're stealing. You're stealing. That's called grand theft. That's called grand theft. Ma 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 yes, yes. Are you pushing me? Listen, I told you. No, I'm telling you to run me my son. Run me my son's phone. Okay, I gotta call the cops. Well, go ahead, call the cops. I don't give a fuck. I care. You really think I can? No, I'm gonna get his phone here because as soon as the cops come, I'm gonna say she stole a fifteen hundred dollar phone and you going to jail. Today, ma'am, I'm gonna either get my phone right now or I'm gonna take it out of somewhere you're not gonna like. Yo, I'm telling you, run me my son's phone. You see what I'm saying? I'm not coming back nothing because I'm not leaving. I'm getting the phone right now. Watch, watch me, watch me, ma'am. Don't push, don't push on my foot. Don't push on my foot. Do not push on my foot. Thank you, thank you. Y'all see how trifling she is. You see who she is, guys. I'm a wonderful teacher. No, no, you're not. 
This woman's child had a bodily fluids accident of some kind in the middle of Goodwill and apparently got kicked out of the store for laughing at her child's transgression. And why did you kick me out of the store when we were literally cleaning because it out? you were laughing at it. And also policy-wise, Google policy-wise, mm -hmm. we're not legally allowed to clean up bodily fluids. For I, we're, we cleaned it up. And I said, uh, we said we were going to clean it. It was an accident. I understand that. Okay, so. I've used the bathroom on myself. I've done all that on myself. Okay. I understand that. But when okay. I finally ask you to leave and you get a smart-ass attitude towards okay. me. Okay. It's very disrespectful. Yeah, you know, because you're asking us to leave because of an incident. That happened with because a child. I can't file an incident. I, I don't even want to talk guys. to you no more. You can call the police if you want. I've already have. I don't want to talk to you no more. And since you're recording me without my permission, you will be getting charged. This it's, <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. What the f <laughs> No, literally. Wait. <laughs> what the f Babe, going? stop cussing. Wait, she's not moving at all. That's what I'm saying. What is going on here? Uh, what is she looking at? What is she doing? That's actually That's really concerning. Very creepy. I don't know what's going on here. Is no one noticing this? Look, is no one seeing this? What is going on? Look, even that's crazy. No, 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 she's, looking, no, she's looking. Look. Oh. <laughs> what? Should not be recording this. Okay, so at first I thought this was fake, but I've seen so many videos where people act just actually this crazy in public that I really think it might be real. We seem to have some sort of angry business person who's been dealing with this woman for a while from context clues, which sells me a bit, and we have these other people recording, but they also look like they might all be say, probably like part of the same gypsy troop is this woman i don't know uh anyway this could all be a gag but i think it might be real and i'm curious to see what you think Disgusting.
Yes! 